Oh, hey, you guys. It's MJ from All She Love TV. Happy to be here with you. I hope that this video is finding you doing a, you know, life is pretty wild and weird and mysterious and challenging and all of those things. And it is my purest intention to just offer a little bit of fun and entertainment by doing daily card readings. I've been gifted the majority of these cards. There's a lot of videos. I've produced a whole bunch of online content over the last 10 years, so feel free to check that out. I'm here to get to know you and to promote Ulta Love as an online lifestyle brand. I've produced four online courses over the years. I published a book a few years ago and uh, there's merchandise as well alongside the services that I provide uh, all online. So let's just get into the cards for today, February 7th, the day before my dearest sisters, 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 <laughs> my sister's birthday and uh, I'm lucky for technology to be able to stay in touch with my Canadian family. I've ended up living in the UK. I've been here for the for 20 years now. All intuitively guided flow with a pure, again, a pure intent to just be of service, whatever and however that looks. It's different for all of us. I think just like by existing in a sense, we're of service somehow. And yet the more we get to know ourselves, I think the more, you know, living in integrity and being present and kind to one another and to the best of our ability and uh, you know being able to work through things and all that jazz okay so divine guidance and loving clarity is my intention divine guidance loving clarity new love ace of cups new love is coming from the heavens this is like an emotional new beginning. I'm mean, literally, as I say that, an emotional new beginning. I'm getting that, you know, when like good news comes and you cry because you're like, oh my God, thank God. <laughs> yeah. So it's that kind of feel. Wow, oh, and the Ten of Pentacles. Holy Shazam. This is a cup that is really uh, potently... Yeah, I think for some of you, you may have been really focused on your career, your creative projects, your work life. Uh, and I, I get a sense, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, I'm just getting a sense of like you have, <laughs> for a lack of better expression, really taken a beating, like a life beating as far as the work you've been putting in, seeing things step off, seeing things work out. And I feel like you're just sort of like, rrr, rrr, like you're pushing it forward. Let's get a little bit more clarity on this Queen of Cups and Ten of, or Queen of Pentacles rather, and Ten of Pentacles. Only because they're both in the reverse and I feel like this shiny new cup, this new cup of love, um, whether it's like a romantic love or not, this is a new beginning in your heart space, right? So thank goodness. I think, I think that's always, um, uh, no, no matter what we're going through in life, there's a regenesis taking place, positive new beginnings clean slate you know that's always a good thing and and interestingly actually what i'm getting intuitively is that for some of you it could actually be relinquishing some attachment to your finances and or your material life and or your working life so it might be that you've literally reached the pinnacle of your career or um you've done everything that you can and then you just let go and suddenly there's like the angels singing and <laughs> you're stepping into this new beginning for your life, which is really exciting. I, I'm getting a, a kind of a grounded sense of excitement with this reading. Yep, you've, it's like, it's definitely letting go of like the burden. So like you're right on the edge, right? And you're right about to win the lottery or, or finally achieve again, that pinnacle of career success but maybe you're exhausted and you're just like oh my god i have no energy left like i i'm finding it really hard to push through and then you just let go and then bosh you get this new beginning and it could be a message that you receive this could be from a younger person who and for this energy coming in that's going to deliver a message to you there's uh they're they've been balancing their pentacle they're I would say younger and they probably are not as wealthy like they don't maybe have as much money uh, but certainly they're upstanding and they're coming in with a clear 
offer with that cup of love or a clear and it and it might be that like a new career offer like you're being headhunted or something or and a new career is come a new career offer is coming in and maybe it's not as much money as you are used to making but you're like mm, but I can still make it work like I can still make that um that income work for me as in I can balance my lifestyle I can balance my books a bit here you're you're probably not gonna see this message coming you're not gonna necessarily be able to anticipate with the moon energy there um as in the message coming forward comes out of the dark it comes maybe out of nowhere seemingly so it's not that's why i'm like it doesn't seem like you're looking for a new job or looking for love it just you're you've been probably so focused on your finances or for some of you i'm getting this sideline of like you've been so focusing on the house or the like like say you're a mom and you stay at home like you've been redecorating or you've been really really focused on your world your material world and then for whatever reason it's like you hit this wall energetic wall maybe a slight bit of burnout and you just let go and and then this new energy starts to unfold and you get a message and it's somebody wanting to offer love or somebody wanting to offer you a job and uh, it might, in the first instance, almost kind of turn your world upside down. You'd be like, oh my God, what do I do? Uh, but again, intuitively, you're probably going to know what to do. And based on these cards, it's like you're going to want to move toward that new beginning. Uh, again, the message comes out of nowhere, comes out of the dark. Also, and or this person coming in to deliver the message. Um, uh, as creepy as it might be I, I get a sense they could have been spying on you or like they've been but then that that's relevant to work stuff right if you um are somebody who publishes work or or puts work out into the collective it's like they then you're a public figure and they they like all the public have access to you right so it's not that creepy but like they I'm hearing they're spying on you, so they're definitely observing your working, you know, uh, energy and coming forward with a message being like, would you like this, you know, and or if they're coming in t to profess their love or something like this, they've been spending time balancing their energies, they're younger than you, they have less money, but they definitely see you as very, very valuable. You, you in this reading definitely you're gonna want to take a break from work there's everything everything in this reading is like take a break you need to take a break my lovers even sometimes like when i'm working with clients and uh typically i seem to work with quite high functioning uh yeah people that are on the go that have like high powered jobs or uh, that I consider and can really are like high functioning people and they're often on the go like you know work long working hours or just have a lot of different things that they juggle right and um and that this this is like one of those readings for for that kind of demographic of running your own business or or managing the family a job a home like you've got all these things that you're working on and just energy wise it's like you're hitting a bit of a wall and you're like okay i don't think i want to do this anymore um and there is definitely something about focusing on your emotional well-being cups uh water the emotional side of us right and um this is a really a, a kind of a emotional upgrade of like letting because because in a sense i i mean with the pentacles here and the ten of ones it's like you have probably been working tirelessly for 10 years or 10 months or like just definitely a significant chunk of time and it's it's like you've done as much as you can you've worked as hard as you can and now it's almost like just be loved like let that new love come in and then allow yourself to restore yourself through emotional care and um y yeah emotional care i am getting something about a mother here 
It could have been quite a dance or like the labyrinth. Ah, weird, the mother. Uh, I, I need more clarity on that. I'm not exactly sure. Not this deck though. So the mother in the labyrinth, as in that, it's just the labyrinth to me is like that deep maze or that kind of like uh, being rerouted and going here and going there. And um, um, but the mother energy, for some of you, you could be pregnant as well. That could be part of this emotional new beginning and balancing the energies, right? You could be coming, becoming a mother. Right, and that could be part of the energy of like maybe surprise or ener or the message that comes out of nowhere. It's like oh, sh yeah, <laughs> um, because uh, there's something, there's definitely a balancing act going on, and I think that's why something's got to give in this regard with the ten of wands. Something's got to give. You 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 want to focus here, not there anymore, and uh, largely it is connected to like burnout and then stepping into emotional well-being greater balance and again you might be getting a job offer or a love offer and for some of you again this if, if this is a love offer the person coming in to offer the love has been through a lot themselves they've they've probably been healing a lot so the five of cups would say they've been also going through a bit of a grief phase they've had to mourn certain losses and i think when they kind of come to move forward they're like ready to seize that new cup and make an offer because they want more love in their lives yeah i straight up like feel for some of you this is just an upgrade and you're really healing and you're gonna start to feel the newness of that healed position within yourself the status as it were that you've been working on tirelessly and probably pushing forward and pushing forward and so that creator energy with the star card is like you finally are coming into that centeredness space and like claiming the power of your like star quality that allows you to give all of that benevolence to your world the the world around you and i so some of you as well are really stepping in to um like a mag a magnetic radiance i would say and and then again with that queen of cups and that mother labyrinth card i i feel like that's maybe just like healing the mother wound or for some of you there could be a, like a shape-shifting awareness around being a mother and or your relationship with your own mother as well all right, you guys, that's your reading for the day. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you real soon. Take care. Peace out.